おごりはええのくぅ !This is for you! おぉ、ネット Thanks for joining us. It's Team Video Game Gnosis here, and we got another whiskey review for you guys. So, we're the guys who review whiskeys and play video games. Alright, guys, so today we're playing some more Yakuza Zero on the PS5, and we're drinking some peak Japanese whiskey.、Um, Which is special. Yeah, this is a special whiskey.、Um, we'll, get, we'll get into it in a little bit, but、um, as you can see, we're at the batting cage with Majima, and I did horrible when I first started playing it. <laughs> Oh, thanks. There's a trick to it. Yeah. But, um, so onto the whiskey. I'm gonna nose it right now. Okay, that's interesting. Do you w a n t to give a little background first before we get into it? Yeah. So, it, there's, it's very difficult to find any、uh, information on this whiskey.、Um, what we have found, though, was,、um, I guess, on one site, it's called、uh, New York Mutual Trading. It says, in the Yoro area of Gifu Prefecture, Japan, there is a legend wherein a flowing waterfall transformed into rich, flavorful sake. Peak whiskey is a handcrafted blend born from this pure Japanese spring water, grain, and imported malt. The distillery Gyokusendo Shuzo of Gifu uses their own barrels, in this case, sherry cask, to age the whiskey, as they also specialize in sake, shochu, mirin, liqueurs, and other spirits. They aim to produce tasty sake and spirits while maintaining handmade small batch production.、Um, also, this brand is known as a G whiskey.、Um, Which is special. Right. Do you remember much about it? Yeah, the,、um, I guess they're not produced nationwide. So these are made by、um, small, little、uh, breweries and distilleries,、um, ones that primarily make、uh, sochu and sake. So whiskey really isn't their thing.、Um, But、right. I guess, yeah, this is not a, like, Peak is like the last guys doing it, or, or there's not very many of them. Right, so on this site, Decanta or, how did you say it earlier? I think it's Decanta. Decanta or Decanta. They say that、um, G whiskeys were popular in the 80s,、uh, in the 70s and the 80s, 1980s,、um, which is interesting because Yakuza Zero is, takes place in the 80s. <laughs> But、um, yeah, so G whiskeys. If you guys want to look it up, it's J I and then whiskeys. It says,、um, yeah, basically they're, they're not as popular as they were before. And one of the special things about them is that they're very hard to get outside of the local area in Japan. So, so we lucked out and that we,、um, we got our hands on this. Yeah.、So. Um, about the nose before it changes too、uh -huh. much. But I pick up that shirt. Really? I get a nice peat and a floral. A floral background, like the peat is prevalent for me, and I、uh -huh. get some floral notes in the back. Like, I get, the, like fl I get the floral kind of floral. Yeah, so this is imported barley but、Ooh. with Japanese green. Oh,、uh, I think I'm gonna like this. And a sake or shochu distillery, how do you say it? Gyo Kusendo, yeah, I think it's Gyo Kusendo,、uh, yeah, Gyo Kusendo, Shuzo of Gifu. Um, this, I, I just want to say、um, before I go into the taste,、um, the peat level on the nose, I'd say it's comparable to Kanamara. What do you think? I'm not even getting any peat. Are you serious? Yeah,、oh, I'm going to go in for the taste. Maybe because I like peat so much. Let's see. Smooth. Ooh. <sighs> That goes down nice and easy. There's a bit of spice at the end, though. Right. But it goes down easy. It has a little film of oiliness. It just makes it、um, easy to drink. Interesting, yeah. Nice blend.、Um, I'm going to say right now, right off the bat, it's similar to Akashi. I think. The, I taste,、like、the taste to me is very similar to Akashi White Oak. I got a low ton in darts. 
They're pretty good at darts. And, uh, well, I wish I was good at darts in real life. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, it's kind of like a... I don't know, I feel like there's like a sweetness there, too. Yeah, that's the sherry. I, I, I pick up on that, um, that spice you're saying, though. I feel the spice. I actually like it, it's not bad. I mean, it's like 43% alcohol, yo. Yeah? Um, yep. yeah. 43%, interesting. You know, the nose is a lot stronger on this one for me, rather than the taste. It mm -hmm. feels nice. It feels nice in my mouth, like the textures and whatnot. Um, it's interesting. I hope I didn't ruin it, but yeah, it, it has chocolate. a, it has a, um, it has that sake-ish thing that Akashi has, and I think Akashi is also um, is a sake. They they, they specialize in sake and shochu. I wonder if I wonder if the grain is rice. Yeah, I was gonna say because it's very like, hard to find anything online. I, yeah, um, I feel like it's like kind of like a cross between Kikori and Akashi for some reason, even though it wasn't rice. Like we can't find it. All right, so initial initial seven point five. Seven point five. I agree. All right, guys, here's some Yakuza Zero highlights. Sunaoni, I love you. Todokeyoki, do you love me? Do you want me to kick your ass? Fantastic. Get a master. Right about now, we're about to go back, go back, go back in time. This is for you. Oh, neat. <laughs> He's beginning to believe. Hey! All right, and we're back, guys, with Majima at the disco. Um, yeah. <laughs> All dressed up for the disco, I think. <laughs> and he also has a dancing partner this time. He's with uh, Yuki. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't do too good on this section, but anyway, uh, back to the whiskey. So, nice. on the on the nose, for me, it's kind of sake-ish. Yeah, you know, I gotta try some of that. I don't know. I haven't tried it since when it was the time you had me try, which was like I don't know, nine years ago or something like that. But uh -huh. um, I gotta try some again so I can, because you're getting that a lot for these Japanese whiskeys that we're trying lately. Uh -huh. um, and you, you seem to keep coming back to that no. Um, right. But for me, what I know is I, I know rice, I know mochi, so for me, that registers as that. Yeah, I mean, you know, they said it's a blend of grain and uh, malted barley. So I'm assuming that that grain is. It must be. It must be rice because the, the distilleries that do make this uh, peak. Peak whiskey are known to make a shochu. And sake. And sake. Wait, but sake yeah. is not rice based, is it? Where it is? It is. It is. Rice Why do based. I think of plums when I think sake? I'm not sure. <laughs> but yeah, so the peak whiskey, once again, this whiskey is a G whiskey, so it's on the site we're seeing it's spelled J I. J I whiskey. Right, hopefully um, we're saying it right. Yeah. It's a name uh, given to Japanese whiskeys. Produced by small local breweries and distilleries. Uh, they differ in the sense that they are not distributed nationwide and are often not well known outside their local areas. The producers often specialize in brewing sake or shochu and only brew whiskey on the side. Uh, that reading was from the site Decanta, or how do you pronounce it? I think Decante. Okay, one or the other. Decanta or Decante? Um, yeah, that was their official write up on the site. Um, but I did want to note, I was kind of afraid to say it earlier, but for me, a very prominent note, along with the peat, is chocolate. 
I'm getting chocolate. And I don't know if it's because I, I ate some chocolate earlier today, um, like a milk chocolate, but it's super strong on the taste, and then also I get it on the nose, but I really taste it. But you're I'm not getting it. You're not really getting it, but, but I'm thinking that's the sherry for you. I think so, yeah. I'm getting a, a slight grape sherryish wine, slight, you know. I can see that. Yeah, it's, it's way on the end. Pretty interesting. A quick note on the gameplay, guys. Sorry if it's kind of boring and, I'm, and I was kind of, you know, not doing the best in this fight here. I haven't played this game in a long time, and uh, I was trying to get, you know, his heat actions to come out, his special moves and stuff, and I was trying to remember it. Yeah, you used to know all of them. But I got one right here with this <laughs> the sword catching, which is pretty cool. cool. But, um, trick. yeah, I didn't want to go into the pause menu and have you guys watch me <laughs> fumble around in there, so. <laughs> Um, oh, um, another thing I wanted to mention was the price point on this, which was super cool. I don't know if it's because it's the G Whiskey, but um, we're used to kind of like the high $60, $70 range um, or so for so Japanese like, whiskey. Right, like Suntory and Nika brands. Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of what our, our usual is when we think Japanese whiskey. But we'd always pass this, but I, I don't know. I would always look at it and think like, what is this? Um, so I finally picked one up. It was like... $37 plus tax. So that's like one of the most affordable Japanese whiskeys that I think we can get in our area. Yeah, well, good, good call on grabbing it. Yeah. And then yeah. come to find out it's this G whiskey. G whiskey we didn't, we had no idea. Famous, not famous, popular whiskey, type of whiskey in, in the 70s and 80s. And a, a perfect uh, pairing for Yakuza Zero, which takes place in the 80s. In the 80s, yeah. Yeah, really cool stuff. Um, so. Talking about rating wise, you want to move up, right? So I, I'm not sure. I can't remember what we gave it earlier. It was either a 7.5 or an 8. We gave it an 8. Okay. But well, well, we'll we'll think. Super nice. Yeah, we'll definitely um consider bumping it up. Um, I mean. It's consistent for me. The, like I, once again, it's it's a blend, guys. So, you know, it's not 100% made in Japan. It's imported from somewhere else. The the barley is, and then the grain and water is locally. Uh, source from Japan and they, they did the whole distillery process there so um yeah I mean to to me it's a Japanese whiskey but you know to each their own I guess you could say and once again taste is subjective so what we're getting and you know you might not get when you try it but right, when you smell when you, when taste, you smell and taste yeah, like, people get different notes even my wife and I get different notes some of the time so right and the majority of what we eat is the same food too mm -hmm. um, so it's a common thing yeah. This is the lightsaber part you like. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it's like a photon something. Photon blade prototype. Yeah. He's got like a Darth Maul lightsaber. Look at him go. I think I, I think I know what I know what we're going to give it then. I have an idea. I really like it. I, I really like this is kind of like, I think this is in my handful of like most favorite whiskeys. Wow. Whiskey. I really... That's a big deal. I'm liking this. Um, on the screen real quick, guys. The famous oh, Yamazaki yeah. single malt 12-year. We hope to try it one day. One day. <laughs> I just wanted to show you it's in the game. Uh, this game pays great homage to Japanese whiskeys. Anyway, as for peak Japanese whiskey, we're going to give it an 8.5 out of 10 beach two stars. Yep. Thank you guys for joining us today. Uh, please like and subscribe so you don't miss any future content on whiskey reviews and video games. All right, Thanks, we'll see you guys, guys. next time.